All right, welcome back to the channel. It's the morning of day 47. I am going to head back and buy that pump shotgun that the trader had. Then I am going to head out of town. I'm going to go check out this town. There's a town here, I'm pretty sure. There's got to be because there's a trade here. So I'll complete the opening trade routes mission, check out the town, and then I'm going to go take on the big fucking castle. Hopefully I don't die. If I live through that, I'll probably head back to the Alamo, do a little bit of work on it. I don't think I'm going to fight the next horde there, but I want to have it ready. Because I will fight another horde from that place at some point. After that, I'll head back to town. I may swing through here. Uh, grab another load of uh, loot. And bring it back. It's probably going to take a couple days. But my plan is to be here. Back at this base. By the morning of day 49 which is the next horde and then I will find a place here to fight the horde maybe this fucking parking structure or maybe this uh, strip club slash fucking porno theater <laughs> or whatever the fuck it is um, anyways yeah so I'm gonna hit the road I think I've got everything I've got. I brought extra meds, extra explosives, extra building materials, a little bit of traps, um, money, ammo. I probably forgot something important. That's all right. I do every time. Oh yeah, so antibiotics. I don't have any antibiotics. I did have uh, one honey, but I'm gonna leave that here at the base because I want something here. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind now that I think about it because I know I have more antibiotics at the previous base, so I can bring some back with me. And this way I'll have honey in case I get infected like early on. Uh, Clearing that castle. Yeah, it's better to just bring it. I can go get honey whenever, anyways. I'm just fucking lazy. Alright, what do we got going on out here? That's what's going on out here. Fucking go snake. Shit. Whoa, you son of a bitch. Is it dead? I don't think so. No, it's not. It's 
it's always a battle every day coming and going at this space <laughs> I mean I think the neighborhood is thinned out there's not as much crazy shit showing up every day as there was but there's still a lot is that a fucking screamer what the shit I thought I heard something like that earlier it might be a ghost screamer a regular screamer. Fuck off, devil deer. I don't even know if that thing will attack me, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't even care. I thought that uh, it kind of seemed like that, the last one I saw. So I think the one that attacked me at the horde probably spawned into the horde and then it got hurt hit by me or hurt by me and that's why it attacked so it's good to know that they are not aggressive let's see i think i'm gonna take the iron spear i don't know if i'm gonna actually use it oh got another reward here all right oh man it's a tough call Gotta take the lock picks. Alright, well I'm gonna take farm seven. I think that is the one that's like right across the road right over there. Oh no, it's not. It's like right next door over here. <laughs> um anyways, so yeah, the reason I came here was to get a shotgun. There it is. Oh, it's only a level two? What the shit. I thought it was like level three. Regardless. It's better than nothing. I still got quite a bit of money. Let's look at that compound bow. Oh, it's even the level three has got more damage than my wooden bow. I mean, I'm gonna end up using a compound bow anyways at some point, so I might as well get used to it. All right, I'm buying it. And I'm also buying these fucking hubcap landmines. Yep. I need to stash some things in the bike, and then I'm hitting the road. <laughs> Trucks and guns. What the fuck? Looks like this is probably a smaller town. Oh, there's a fucking zombie right here. I do want to check this ambulance just uh, in the off chance. Yeah, there's honey. I was gonna say antibiotics, but honey works. All right, trader wreck. If you break it, you buy it. You think you're pretty smart. I'm taking dynamite. Oh shit, that looks promising. Oh, fuck off. I didn't even notice that fucking vulture right there. Fucking asshole vulture. Alright, let's take a cruise around this thing. Eh, maybe 
maybe that's the entrance because the trail re leads like right up to that. It's quite the attention to detail there. Oh fuck, what the shit. I'm gonna have to kill that thing. Doesn't look like it's coming over here. Well, maybe it is. Oh yeah. I should probably make sure I can like get up to somewhere safe before yeah. I take that on. Okay. Nice. Oh fuck. Now I did it. Alright, it's stuck right here. I got it. That wasn't that tough, really. So when I was looking on the map, yeah, this other one looks a lot bigger, honestly. I mean, if this one's that big, this one's probably like at least twice as big as the one that I am currently at. All right, here we go. So this is the first of many very crazy compo pack POIs. I'm going to keep working through that trader in the town, but uh, I felt like it was getting a little boring uh, doing the lower tier missions. So I wanted to throw something a little crazier in the mix. At some point, eventually I'll get to like pretty much only doing like crazy ass missions like this or POIs like this. But for right now, I'm pacing myself, allowing the uh, like the natural progression with the new trader in the new town. I do like the fucking compound bow. What the hell was that? Alright, let's try this thing out. Here, movement over here. Don't see anything. Oh, 
this fucker. Sham chowder recipe. Yeah, this place is going to take a while to go through. Without a doubt. It's a fucking maze. <laughs> Super freaking cool, though. Close that. Right, we're up on top, though. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's oh, it's that guy. He's still alive. Sixty feathers from that. Look at this shit. It's well designed. Got a counterweight. Got a dungeon. Possibly. Oh, we're outside again. Gonna take a vitamin since I have a bunch of them. Oh, this is that fucking door. So it's not a dungeon. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I need to check these. Yeah.
couple in here. Shotgun schematic. Iron breaker mod schematic. Goldenrod seed schematic. Somewhere over there. This is some royal fucking bedroom right here. I mean, the more I think about it, it would be pretty goddamn dope to live in a fucking castle. You see, like, those big dining rooms and shit? Just chilling out with your girl, fucking feasting on a fucking 20-foot-long table of food. that all right shit's gonna be coming up actually I don't know if shit can get up here though but regardless oh fuck you oh that didn't sound good that did not sound good Something big and not vanilla. I need to get up. Oh, here we go. I'm already up. Perfect. Where is it? Horde coming in. Uh oh, something fucking getting through that door already. I don't think it's that door, but it will be. Alright, 
All right, I've still got mo Okay, yeah, I've got a couple more out here. So they are getting up. I'm more concerned about whatever big ass thing that I heard. I have no idea where it's at. Alright, so that must be what lowers the fucking gate. God damn. The tough bastard. Gonna proceed cautiously. fuck is this? Alright, we got a fucking big ass catapult. <laughs> that'd be fucking, that'd be pretty cool if you could use catapults, like in your, make catapults and use them as your uh, base defense. Yeah, they should introduce a bunch of uh, medieval fucking defensive weapons. What happens if I go in the middle of this? Is this some witchcraft? Nope. What the shit? Hear him. He's right up there, I think. Uh oh. This doesn't sound good. Shit! Oh no! God damn it. coming. I don't know what. That's a normal zombie. There's something big up there. Luckily, I brought a splint. I think it's in the bike. I fucking jumped off of that. Air movement. Uh, it's gonna take a while to get back up there, but I'm gonna go the same way I went last time. Because I think that whatever that big thing is, it's making noise inside. I think that is kind of on the back side of the castle like the first way I went up to the roof oh maybe not He's 
close. Oh, you know what makes sounds like that is a fucking demolisher. It may not be like some big crazy zombie that came from the outside. It might be just a demolisher that was inside the POI already. going that way. Something big is hunting me, and I'm also hunting it. <laughs> Sounds like it's right here. Alright, so that was not the big thing. I'm already like running out of arrows. What was that? Four times scope. All right, it's morning at least. That's right, I can't go that way. Can I go that way? I mean, should I just cut these fucking doors down? Got irradiated. All right, so this is a, like a tier five POI. At least it's got a tier five loot. I'm hearing a lot of things. Alright, that was an Apache artifact chest. There's some things happening, it sounds like, out here. So before I do too much more, let's see if I can get eyes on... Ooh, did not see this fucking spider. Yeah, so before I fell and broke my leg like a fucking dumbass, I was talking about how cool it would be if they integrated some, like, medieval fucking defenses and shit into the game. I'd say hot tar, but I don't know if zombies would give a fuck about that, really. But definitely, like, rock fucking, uh shoots that you can drop like rocks on fucking zombies with and like catapults and trebuchets and shit ballistas that kind of shit would be badass it'd be crazy ballistas like with exploding arrows same for uh catapults and trebuchets probably probably 
I don't know what the advantage of a trebuchet is over a fucking catapult. I'm assuming range, maybe. I can see a trebuchet being able to fire, like, way further. That is the thing with the horde, is the zombies don't spawn very far out from you. Oh. Oh, what was that, dude? <laughs> Listen to that, fucker. Anyways. Yeah, the zombies don't spawn very far out from you. So there wouldn't be a real advantage of having, like, long-range fucking siege defense weapons or whatever. But at some point... Maybe that will change as the game progresses. Or maybe a modernized version of it. What the fuck is this? Taz's stone axe. What does this mean? Taz's stone axe is a rare, powerful, ancient Indian artifact. The Apache believed those who wielded it were invincible in battle. Repair with a small stone. How does that compare to my stone axe? My stone axe is better. Well, I'll probably hang on to that anyways. Oh, is that the guy I'm hearing? It might be. There's something down here. I would not be surprised if I miss something in this POI. try to get it all though at the same time I don't want to spend like two fucking days like just wandering around this place oh yeah that's what I needed was food This is where the servants fucking slept. Obviously this is the seal of the uh, castle owners. Put the red dye on the fucking axe. Let's see what that looks like. That looks fucking kind of cool I guess. Shit, look at all this stuff. Alright. Other armor schematic. Steel tool schematic. Security camera bundle. I'm gonna put this triple pocket mod on something. Put it on my boots.
All right, I'm calling that a win. I'm sure I probably missed a couple rooms or something in there, but for the most part, I got it all. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna head back up real quick, hit the trader. Sell as much shit as I can, and then I'll head to the Alamo. Probably spend part of the day working on that. This looks like a player base. I see a dog. Oh, I see a couple dogs. Oh, I see a fucking shitload of dogs. Okay. We're gonna call that the... The dog base. Zombies spawn back into this POI. What was that? Oh, fuck you. Practically parked on top of it. I think there's one in here also. Maybe not. didn't respawn. I, like I said earlier, I don't plan on fighting the next horde here, but I want to have the place fixed up and ready to go for a horde, because I will fight at least one more from this spot. Probably more than that. Alright, well, this is where I'm going to call it for this episode. I know it's kind of a weird time of day to end it, but the next episode is going to be the Day 49 Horde. So the plan for that will be work on this Alamo for a couple more hours today, head back to the old base, pick up some shit, head to the new base, find a POI, probably that parking structure, and prep it for most of the day of uh, day 49, and then fight the horde.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one.